interrupted in the middle, and uh, one thing I often do with my choral method students is I allow them a chance to work with one of the choirs here and prepare a piece, and so uh, two of my students had a chance to do that this fall, since they didn't get a chance to do that back in the spring, and so they, uh, they will conduct the second and third uh, movements of this set of three. So Jelena Spiker is conducting number two, and Rebecca Ramsey is conducting number three.
Sonner's applause. <laughs> I'm going to switch from one choir to the other. We have two ensembles here this semester. Um, Collegiate Singers, which is a group made up of, uh, it's a, it's a non-audition group. It's made up of students from all across the university. We have some music majors in the group, and we also have uh, a number of non-music majors in that ensemble. And, uh, and this next group is an audition group. It's, it's the uh, Trouble Chamber Ensemble. And uh, it's also made up of a combination of music majors and non-music majors. And, um, <coughs> and this group sings a combination of, um, of accompanied and unaccompanied music. So I'm going to start off with some accompanied things. And I'll try not to. Packages tied in the strings. The 
because the applause is so short, I never get to acknowledge John Morrison over here on the piano, who's doing <laughs> both of these groups because um, with, with the restrictions that we're working under and singing behind these darn masks, uh, it, it really complicates life a bit for the singer and, uh, and it, it sort of creates a, a layer of separation between us and, 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 uh, and the air we breathe and the audience we sing to and, and uh, I've found it more challenging than usual um, for us to sing with expressivity and, uh, and heart, um, I, I think just because of some of these challenges. And so both of these groups have done a great job at moving past that and getting to the point that we're doing some really expressive singing. I'm very proud of the work that these students have done this semester. All right, I'm going to do one more accompanied piece uh, with the treble ensemble. This is Herzlied by Robert Schumann.
madrigals? Sort of. <laughs> uh, the next song actually is a madrigal from the from um, 1600s by a composer named John Hilton, the Younger, who even centuries after his death cannot escape the fact that uh, he's junior. Uh, there's a John Hilton the Elder, who was probably his father, who was also a composer, and so he's still John, he's still junior. All these years later, bless his heart. Uh, but he wrote a nice map, which we're going to sing that. And uh, we're going to follow that with another piece that's written in the style of the Renaissance English madrigal, but it is not originally a madrigal. It is actually the song All Star um, by the band Smash Mouth. So we hope you enjoy a uh, madrigal and a kind of madrigal.
singers back to the stage. And for the next couple of pieces, we're going to have some uh, guest instrumentalists join us for um, the next piece, Kine Mato. It's a setting of a traditional um, the Jewish folk song. And it's uh, got a flute part. And music major David Phillips back there is going to play the flute for us. And then for the next piece, Circa Mea Pectora, uh, there's a percussion part that's going to be played by music major Anthony Domino.
of you that tuned in uh, online this evening, thank you very much for, for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I've certainly enjoyed the opportunity to get on stage uh, with these folks and, and make music in front of an audience, even though it is a remote one. <laughs> Although we do have some audience here now, a few helpers. Um, and uh, I do want to say a thank you also uh, to those that have helped with the live streaming tonight. Uh, and uh, Troy Snyder from the Department of Theater here who's helped with the, the, the lighting and the tech stuff this evening as well. Um, so thank you very much for joining us. We're going to close with America Beautiful.